Hello everybody, it's Joe Daniels from Swing This Studio. Um, I just wanted to give a little bit of thing, a little bit of talk about my upcoming uh, training program in DVD using kettlebells and uh, various other exercises, you know, to basically for bodybuilding. Um, what I'm going to do today is go over a little tip on bicep activation. And I'm, in my opinion, the best way to activate your biceps, <clears throat> excuse me, is in a pronate position, pronated position, prone position, lying on a bench using a kettlebell. I'm going to show you why. I don't think kettlebells are the only way to train. I don't think they're the best way for everything. Um, as far as bodybuilding, I do consider them to be a very, very, very important tool and something to activate muscle fibers like you never have before. My biggest thing is you want to train smart, you want to train efficiently. Um, basically, training smart, I mean, is picking the best tool for the job. So what I'm going to show you is how I activate my biceps. I'm going to show you the difference between a bicep curl, the way I do it, for concentration of the muscle versus with the dumbbell versus with kettlebell. First off, I'm going to do the on to do the dumbbell and show you what happens. Got my bench behind me. Got a you know about like a adjustable dumbbell because we don't use a lot down here. And then I'm going to show you a kettlebell. Here's the dumbbell version first. So I get on my bench in a prone position. Take the dumbbell. Put my chest on the bench. I'm going to supinate my hand and I'm going to curl up. There's the tension. As soon as I get to the top, if you can see, I hope I'm recording as well, my bicep is loose right here. It's resting, the weight is resting down straight from the forearm down to the elbow. Now as soon as I lean forward, then it, the bicep is activated again. I lower back down. Activated. I'm even squeezing, but it's turned off. It's more brachialis. Now that's with the dumbbell. Now I want to demonstrate how a kettlebell sits and how the center of mass is totally different. How a kettlebell is a better tool for, the job, for this job of doing a prone bicep curl, bicep concentration curl. By the way, this was set at 25 pounds, okay? And this kettlebell is 26. It's a 12 kilogram bell. 12 kilogram bell, so about 26 pounds. Not that much of a difference. A pound, it's not gonna make or break you. So what I do with the kettlebell is the same thing. I'm gonna supinate my grip and see if you can see the activation difference. So I hook my hand, as I curl, I'm up and I'm squeezing even at the top. That weight is distributed out farther. It's like someone's pulling me forward. The bicep never loses contraction. And lower back down. Keeping the elbow going straight plumb into the floor. See, once again, that center mass of the kettlebell is staying away on the outside of your forearm. It keeps wanting to pull me forward. So there you go. As you can see, it really activates the peak of the bicep from doing that position instead of being able to lift up and being loose. That's the dumbbell resting. There's with the kettlebell sitting up top. There's the dumbbell resting. Here's with the kettlebell in the same position. So once again, I'm just saying you want to pick the most effective tool for the job. Once again, it's Daniels Fitness Training. Joe Daniels from DanielsFitnessTraining.com.